That other video I put up is like almost 15 minutes long and it's kind of hard to get through. But here's what I want you to know of what the hell happened. After the Civil War, the dean of the Harvard Law School de decided to change how law was taught. They went from the constitu constitutional approach to case law. He wanted to show Darwin's approach, you know, kind of an evolution of law. Well, then that's fine, but they didn't study the Constitution anymore. They studied what other judges said about the Constitution. And that has hindered America since then. Now, I want you to look at, look at the stuff here. I'll zoom this in just a, a little. because I want you guys to get... After, after all the stuff back in, in the day, thanks to the homes, um, judges began to accrue power in the American political experiment. Now, here's what I want you to understand. In my constitutional law classes at Vanderbilt University, one of the better law schools in the country, we never read the Constitution. We only read what the judges said about it. Let's do that again. In my constitutional law classes at Vanderbilt University, one of the better law schools in the country, we never read the Constitution. We just, we only read what judges said about it. <clears throat> but, Here's what happened. The judicial activism became common because judges became a law unto themselves. Like I said, they didn't study the Constitution. They only studied what other judges said about the Constitution, making that judge the law and not the Constitution. So all those lawyers after that, they didn't study the Constitution anymore. They're, they're, they're going by what some other judge said about it, whether that other judge had ever read the Constitution or not, or studied the Constitution. Nobody knew. They're just going by what another judge said about it. And that's asinine, people. That's why this country is the way it is now. We've got to go back to reading the Constitution, to studying the Constitution, the, the Declaration of Independence, the Federalist Papers, the Anti-Federalist Papers, and anything that had to do with how laws were interpreted. That's what we got to do. I'm going to unzoom this just a, a little bit because I want you to to understand what this, this is saying. It says that they don't no longer study the Constitution in law store, in the law school. They only study what judges said about it. They're, what they're doing then is making the judge the law and not your Constitution. And you got these people up there in the Supreme Court right now supposedly interpreting law. And who's to say that other judge that wrote the law ever studied the Constitution? That's what we're up against. All the stuff that they're, these opinions and decisions that they're handing down, they are themselves unconstitutional because it's not from the Constitution. It's some, what some other judge said about it, whether the judge was right or wrong when, when he said something or his opinion. They didn't study the Constitution. They don't know how to interpret it right. That's why we have all these unjust laws and stuff still on the books. Because these people aren't smart enough to understand, Ugh, well, they taught me in, that, in law school, but then, uh, 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 uh. No, study the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Federalist Papers, the Anti-Federalist Papers, so you got a grasp on, on what the Constitution really means. Thanks for watching, people. But I wanted you to, to know this. I wanted you to see this firsthand. If you have any questions, contact me. Thanks for watching.